All right, uh, my husband's a real beefcake, heavy on the cake. <laughs> He's not here, I can say whatever I want about him. Uh, we used to play video games together. Like, they brought us together, but now they only break us apart, you know? We used to play Mortal Kombat, and we only play Marital Kombat. <laughs> We're in marriage counseling right now, actually. He says it's because I beat him and because I cheat. I think he should just get better at Halo. <laughs> he just needs to learn those maps like the back of my hand. <laughs> we're both passive aggressive and we're both writers. So when we fight, we do it over email. But he's like a real writer. He uses alliteration and metaphors like water all this stuff. I'm a comedy writer, like I can't, def I can't defend myself against that. Like the other day I got an email that said, Megan, your thoughts are like oysters, potentially hazardous to the health and slimy to the touch. <laughs> yeah, like what the fuck are you supposed to say to that, right? It took me eight hours, but I came up with the perfect reply uh, and I told him, yeah, well, you have a small dick. <laughs> I win. He's an English major, and he's always trying to get me to better myself through literature. And he had me read Moby Dick. Like, that's a terrible place to start, right? If the, in the second chapter there's a Starbucks, that's a problem, is the way I view it. Great, no one's read this book. That's perfect. <laughs> but I, I really did try, you know? Like, I went and got the book on tape, and it was read by Sir Patrick Stewart. I'm like, Captain Picard, yeah, I can listen to this. But halfway through, he said, fuck it, and the rest was just Led Zeppelin lyrics.